No matter what anybody has told you in the past, here's the truth from Ken Davis. Men and women are different. <laughs> we are different. God made us different so we could get along with each other. <laughs> so that life would be more fun. And now that I got your attention, ladies, may I ask a favor of you? This is my chance to try and help you understand where we're coming from. If you have something to say to us, say it! Don't put it in the form of a question we can't answer. Every man in the room now is going, oh, brother, preach this. Preach this. We are paralyzed. From the moment we come, become married, we begin to be asked questions for which there is no answer. And we begin to freeze because we want to give the right answer, but there is no right answer. Son, what was your name? Right back there. What is your name again? Aaron, Aaron, I'm going to teach you some lessons here that will serve you well for the rest of your life. <laughs> Someday, son, your wife is going to come home. She'll be in shopping. She's shopping. And she'll come home and she'll walk in the front door. She'll say, I bought this today. <laughs> what do you think of it? Do not say a word. God is a wonderful God and he created us as absolute idiots. We do not know the answer to that question. What do you think of this? Oh, I tried, son, I tried. I said, oh, it's fine. You don't like it. No, it's fine. It's really fine. What's wrong with it? Why wouldn't you like it? Honey, it's fine. I said, what do you want me to say? She said, if you thought it was fine, if you thought it was beautiful, you would say, that makes you look beautiful, and it makes me desire you. I was so happy. I had the answer. I said to her, sweetheart, that dress makes you look beautiful and I desire you. She said, you're just saying that because I told you. <laughs> and son, if your wife ever comes in and says, does this dress make me look big? <laughs> Run!